Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles. Let's talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, riding motorcycles. And actually, let's make it a little bit easier. If you have a late model Harley Davidson, you're probably very, very accustomed to the old key fob. Any of these late model Harleys, you have to have this somewhere on your person to start your bike. And if you're like me, you lose pretty much everything. So that can be a problem when you're going to ride your motorcycle and you don't have your fob. Well, Hogwatch has a way to keep track of that thing. With this stylus watch here, you can go ahead and take your fob apart. It actually goes inside of the watch. You have it on you all the time. Don't have to worry about where you put it, whether it's in your pocket, whether it's in your jacket. You just have your watch on, you hop on and go for a ride. Don't get scared. You don't have to be a watchmaker or an electrician to do this. It's pretty simple. There's a few different variations, but basically they're all the same. I'll walk you through a couple of those installs so you can see how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is take apart our fob. We actually have two different versions. There could be up to three versions. Installs are gonna be very, very similar. So this one is the a late model one. So if you have a late model bike, this is probably gonna be what yours looks like on the inside. There's a little slot back here to start prying on. I would recommend using a very small screwdriver. The bigger screwdriver you use, the easier it's gonna be to break it. So I'm gonna start here and just kinda work my way around and this thing will just pop open. Okay, so once we're in there, we actually have to pop this piece off too. Before we do that, let's go ahead and take the battery out of here. You can use a screwdriver or a small pick and work your way around. It can be just a little bit difficult to get started, but once it's started, you're off and running. Again, don't use something big on this because you'll probably break it. What we need out of here is the circuit board, and you can see it's held on there with three little pegs. It's not glued on there, but it is kind of tight, so it'd be helpful to have like a little pick. You don't want to break this circuit board, so take your time. So this is the late model one, so we're going to use the insert with the number one on it. So before we do that, we have to take the back off the watch because we're gonna need that back. They send a nice little screwdriver. These screws are super tiny. Be very careful with them. It helps to have a surface where you can see those little black screws really easily not really installing it into the watch, you're installing it into the back, and then we're going to put it in the watch. I mean, you really can't put these in here the wrong way because all three of them will only go in one way. So for, the, for this one, got this little bump out here, we're going to match it up. And you see, once it's in there, can't spin, it's solid. Then we're going to put our battery in the little hole there, it's clearly for the battery. Just like it was in the fob, there's little pegs to, for that to sit on. So you line your holes up with the pegs and we're part way there. So now this is all installed. We're going to just flip this onto here, make a sandwich and start putting our screws back in. And that's the install for the number one fob. I'm gonna make sure it should sit down there nice and easy. You shouldn't have to force it down on there. This fob is actually off of a 2012. So it's a little bit different. We're gonna open it really similar to the late model fob. This one's even easier yet because there's not that second piece inside there. We're gonna need our battery. These are a little stickier with the circuit board, so just be real careful with it and pop it out of there. You'll see here, there is a little cutout here and here, and one of them's bigger than the other one. So like I said, you can't really put this in here the wrong way. And there's two little tabs here and here, and that's just gonna drop right in there. You can see when you put the battery in, there's this little metal contact right here. The battery bumps up against that. Again, we have two little cutouts and they're kind of highlighted in white here. There's one here and one here. This one's bigger than that one. If you look on the watch, there's two little tabs that are gonna go in those cutouts. There's the big one, there's the small one. This can only go in one way, which makes it really simple. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make our watch sandwich. I recommend holding on to the watch back and putting the watch down on top of it. And we're putting these screws in, kind of try to drop them in there. It might actually help to get a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers or something. I like to get them all started and then tighten them down. Other than that, pretty simple. Hogwatch is a great way to keep track of that fob and look pretty cool in the process. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go ride those motorcycles.